Pace around the house. Today, none other than Big Pace will be doing a review of his new toy, the Hakoki 18 volt brushless first fix nailer. Now, for those of you that watch my Lofgren version videos, this is a bit of a spoiler as you will be able to see some progress in the background. Also, the review and demo we do with the nail gun is on the roof of the back of my house, which we have now reslated. We've also done a nice little overhang on the end of the house. But for those of you that are interested, I will be uploading all aspects of that project in future videos. So, watch this space. Anyway, over to Big Pace. Right, so. I wanted to just mention today about the Hokoki first fix nail gun. It's something I've been meaning to get for a while now was a, a nail gun. Um, and I noticed a couple of people on the comments often leave messages to post around the house about the tools he's using. So one thing I wanted to mention today, um, because I'm pretty impressed, is the Hokoki nail gun. Now, I did go to Roger at Skill Builder. I messaged him because I see he did a review on them. Um, as there was a DeWalt one they do as well, which to be honest, it's a lot cheaper and you can get it in a twin pack, first and second fix nail guns. But he seemed to be pretty impressed with this, so I decided to go along with it. Now, I don't have any of the Hakoki tools, so I've gone for the set that comes with the batteries and the charger. Um, for an extra £100, you get the 218 volt 4 amp hour batteries, or 5 amp hour, I think they are, and the charger as well, so it makes sense. So, what you basically get, as long with your box, You've got the actual unit itself, yeah, 5 amp hour batteries, you get the two 5 amp hour batteries, you get the case, you get a charger, pretty little bag, and your second battery. And I've gone with the version that seems to be the most popular, um, I'll just put this box out the way. So this comes with the, um, they're called clip head nails, and basically you get a lot more nails into the cartridge and if you look at the one with the full head nail the magazine runs on out further past the past the guns there's more chance of damaging it so that's the one i've opted for shop around and you'll probably save yourself two or three hundred pound on the retail price that some people are actually asking for it now the only thing i've picked up on this and it is something that was pointed out is compared to the dewalt with the old-fashioned manual buttons it is a little bit fiddly, I suppose it's a safety thing, but you've got the on-off switch basically in the handle, which you've got to get your finger into. And then, well, I suppose that's at the safety. And then you've got the on-off switch then, which is a little push button underneath the trigger. So you push that on, hold it for a couple of seconds, and you should get the green light come on. And this is one thing that's fiddly with it. Because it relies on an LED there, I can see it now, an LED light. It's difficult to see when it's actually on or off. And there's a safety mechanism on this one. So I know I've seen people with the pass load ones and they're able to fire the nails straight into the air. This one, you have to actually have that depressed, first of all, the nose of the gun, before you pull the trigger and shoot the nail in. So this is all on now and ready to go. There's two modes. You can either put it on an automatic mode, so you hold the trigger in, and you just bump the gun, and every time you press the nose of the gun in, it'll just fire the nail, or you press the, the nose in, and then you pull the trigger to fire the nail. So, that's it. I think a good test for this now, is we've got a big pace, can have a crack, and then you can see me, and I'm about five stone wet, and see if I move when I put it in with one hand. One thing you should probably always use wearing this, he's not got on, Mine aren't proper safety glasses, but you should have some form of light protection. You do get the odd little bit of shrapnel fires out of it, I think, on impact. Um, the one thing I liked on this model, over the DeWalt ones, and I haven't pointed out yet, these are, yet, these are gasless models. From what I know, it's only a Hakoki and the DeWalt that do gasless. So that means you haven't got to put a canister of gas in it to keep it working. So it works purely off the battery. You put the nails in. Um, that's that's basically it there's nothing else there's no recharging the gas i know a lot of people say and they go cold and they can't operate them so and because i go. know he likes to talk too much i'm going to shift him on now and we're going to fire a few nails in wait a second i'm going to shift the camera in okay so on what i would call it a semi-automatic mode press it in pull the trigger and you also notice the nail just drops below the surface of the timber there is an adjustment i've actually got it adjusted right there so the nail goes in you know, with the shallowest, if you like, this is the least depth that will fire it in. With these um, buttons that are quite soft, it just drops in behind the surface, which is perfect, really. Um, so do it again, one-handed, 
very little recoil, I think, on this, to be honest with you, from compared, compared to what I expected. And a lot of people said it's very heavy. If you're working overhead, maybe it is a little bit, but I'm happy with it. Give it a go, Pouse. Get the glasses. Put your glasses on. I'll stand back. Okay, we're after. Push it down one-handed. There we go. No problem at all for a little sprat like me. Nice machine. Right, so all I just wanted to point out quickly was uh, the nails we're using. They, I believe, collated clip head. So they come with a bit of paper tape on them. They got a little bit of glue on the bottom of them to help them seal in. They're actually Hokoki nails I'm using. I think a lot of the other brands, they're all the same, but I just went with these. Um, so we slide them into the cartridge, pull them back. I don't know if these will fit at the moment. Too many. My only another complaint I've noticed is that although you've got a huge magazine to put them all in, um, in the sizes they come, you can't put two in, and when you put one, it only just over half fills it, which is a little bit annoying. I guess you have to keep breaking them off, cutting them to put them in. But anyway, let's give it a go. And the time it took him to tell you that, I could have done them all with a hammer. And if you enjoyed that, I'm sure Big Pouse will be trying to muzzle him on videos a bit more. And he's also trying to think about setting up his own channel, which he's been doing for about the last six months and hasn't got round to it. So hopefully we'll see a bit more of that soon. Anyway, on with the job in hand. So that's it for today's video. And I'd be interested to know your thoughts on Big Pouse starting his own channel. If we drum up enough support in the comments section below, hopefully we can give him that kick up the posterior he needs to get that channel started. Now, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Feel free to subscribe and press the bell symbol for regular notifications. So for more DIY, how-to, household tips and product review, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta, farewell.